Today, we're doing something exciting. We're testing side by side four different waterproof match brands to see which one is best. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna do two tests. The first one, I'm gonna put 20 matches of each brand in a water bottle, shake it up for 30 seconds to get them soaked, dump them out into a bowl, pick each match up and strike it on the matchbox it came with and count how many out of the 20 light successfully. Next, I'm gonna take the matches outside. It's a nice rainy day here, which is why I chose today to film. And I'm gonna take 20 matches of each brand and try to strike them in the rain on the matchbox that they came with. At the end of it all, I'm gonna tally up how many matches lit successfully out of the 40 of each brand that I struck. And then I'm gonna share the results with you so we can take a look and find out which one performed the best. All right, let's meet our four contenders. First up on the left here, we have Koglin's waterproof matches. Next, some Coleman waterproof matches. Over here, we've got UCO waterproof matches. And finally, UST waterproof matches. Those are our four contenders. Let's get right into it. All right, first up, Koglin's. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna test if, when these matches have been in water and have gotten soaked, if they will still light. Okay, I've got 20 of these Koglin's waterproof matches in here. I'm gonna shake it up for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is up. All right, the 20 matches are now in this bowl, still in water. I'm gonna pick them up one at a time and strike them. So after, this is the fourth match out of 20, and I'm already running into a problem with the Koglin's box. The striking surface, it's sort of running dry, like running out of material to strike on, and it's getting waterlogged. All right, I just struck 20 Koglin's matches and 19 out of 20 lit, even with the problems that I had with the striking surface on the box. Now for the Coleman waterproof matches. Just finished striking all 20 Coleman matches. 18 out of 20 lit. Now, UCO. Wow, that was interesting. For the first, I think, three matches, I was really impressed because they all lit on the first strike and I was, I had high hopes for the brand, but then things got bad. So it appears that after just being in the water for 45 seconds or a minute, the match head started to absorb the water and get soggy because after about the third or fourth strike, or the third or fourth match, I should say, they just started crumbling. The match head started crumbling as I was striking them on the striking surface. Just after having sat in water for about a minute or a minute and a half for some of the later ones I struck, maybe two minutes, they just started to crumble right as I struck them. Overall, not a strong showing from UCO. Last up for this first round of tests, UST. The 
ESP one performed pretty well. 18 out of 20 lit successfully, and a lot of them lit on the first strike. So overall, pretty good job. All right, I'm outside now, as you can see, hopefully from the reflection, got a, a light drizzle going on. What I'm gonna do is without getting any of the matches or the box wet at all, um, I'm just gonna try to strike 20 uh, matches. The rules of this are gonna be that I can dry it off any way I want to on my jeans, on my jacket, on my shirt. However, let's get started. First up, Koglins. Just got finished striking all the Koglins. It was a perfect 20 for 20. Next up, Coleman. All right, just finished testing the, the Coleman waterproof matches. 18 out of 20 lit. Now it's interesting to note that I tried to like 20 matches and this pack contains 40 when you buy it. So you will, you will not be able to light 40 matches just with the striking services included on this box. All right, I'm gonna quickly finish up the two remaining brands as the sun is starting to set. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark on screen. Next up, UCO. All right, I am very impressed with the UCO matches. 20 for 20 lit, 17 out of 20 lit on the first strike, and the striking surface is the most intact compared to any of the other brands so far. Lastly, UST. All right, I'm impressed with the UST matches as well. 19 out of 20 lit, the majority lit on the first strike. Okay, to finish up here, you can see I wrote out the numbers for test one and test two. So let's take a look and draw some conclusions. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna say I do not recommend UCO. Uh, it performed swimmingly in test two, getting 20 out of 20 and lighting almost entirely every match on the first strike. But for test one, it performed abysmally. Eight out of 20 matches was all I was able to light, and a lot of them start, started crumbling just from sitting in water for a minute or more. Next, I'd say the next three brands, Koglins, Coleman, and UST, they're all so similar that any of them will do, but I'm gonna go ahead and, t and declare Koglins the winner because I was able to light the most matches for this brand. So Koglins is the winner. Coleman's and UST, they're fine if you can find them. One thing that I would say, and this is what I'm gonna end with, is <laughs> what I did learn here is, what I did learn from all these tests is that you need to bring extra strikers with you, extra striking surfaces, because these boxes hold between 40 and 50 matches, depending on the brand, but after striking only 20 matches for these tests, and I guess I'll say this, I didn't mention this earlier, but I used different boxes for test one and test two. So just from striking 20 matches on uh, a box, it completely used up the striking surfaces on that box. So bring extra striking surfaces whenever you take these matches into the backcountry. That is uh, <laughs> what we've learned here today. But yeah, so if you're looking for the best waterproof matches, go for Koblenz. Guys, sorry for all the audio and lighting problems throughout this video. I'm a complete novice at this and I'm still learning. Um, if you would like to purchase uh, Koglin's waterproof matches, I've left a link in the description and uh, pinned one in the comments. So if you go through that link and make a purchase, we'll receive a commission. So that's one way that you can support the channel. Also, if you thought this video was helpful and informative, uh, like it. That's one small thing that you can do 
to help other people see this video. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, then subscribe because I'm doing 90 videos. Uh, I'm doing 90. <laughs> I'm doing a video a day for 90 days. And this video is day four's video. So I have 86 more videos coming up. And I'm going to be doing more videos like this one where I'm testing products side by side. Um, and finally, this was my first side-by-side uh, -side test video. So if you have any feedback, I probably could have done a better job. Um, not uh, production quality because that'll take some time for me to acquire the gear and stuff, but for how I could have tested better or how I could have you know, uh, maybe shown you the products up close or anything like that. Um, leave a comment letting me know and I'll read it and incorporate that feedback into the next video like this. Um, but thank you guys for watching and until next time.